A dent in the Earth's magnetic field puzzles scientists. Now, scientists have known about the weak spot in Earth's magnetic field for decades. But new research suggests that the South Atlantic anomaly is growing. Yes. Scientists are keeping a close eye on a growing dent in Earth's magnetic field over a swath of the Atlantic Ocean that stretches from South Africa towards Brazil. In this zone known as the South Atlantic Anomaly, the magnetic field, the invisible shield that protects the planet from radiation and charged particles like cosmic rays, is weaker than normal. Though it is not thought to be dangerous by humans, except that it causes mutations in your DNA, Experts say the weak spot could cause glitches or permanent damage to Earth's circling satellites that are exposed to energetic particles as they fly through the red region. Those particles can wreak havoc on satellite instrumentation. So it's good to track the South Atlantic anomaly and especially its changing shape so we can take preventative actions. Now, scientists have known about the weak spot on Earth's magnetic field for decades, but only recently are they suggesting that the South Atlantic anomaly is growing, spreading further west towards the Pacific Ocean and is further weakening. Satellite measurements as well as theoretical modeling predict the area will be getting larger in the next five years or longer. And the strength of a, the magnetic field in this area will become even lower. The weak spot also appears to be splitting in two. Though it is not known yet what specifically is driving the process, Earth's magnetic field is generated, well, assumed to be generated by the constant motion of liquid metal in the planet's iron-rich outer core roughly 1,800 miles below the surface. And these molten deposits slosh around and produce the electric currents that power Earth's magnetic field and effectively turn the planet into a giant bar magnet. But that simplistic model is simply untrue and pathetic. <laughs> now, what do we actually know? Here, this is what I was taught as a geologist, and nothing has changed in 30 years. Here, you have the crust, the Mohorovic, the upper mantle, the lower mantle, the D-layer, the outer core, liquid solid boundary in their inner core. This layer cake model could not be further from the truth. And if we simply look at a ma magnetic anomaly map of the surface of the Earth, we will see that something is going on that's not quite like this picture. Now, here we have a gravity anomaly map, a bouger even where we can see primary plumes of the Earth's mantle. And this is volcanic activity surging up on the surface, which would indicate that the three-dimensional picture of the Earth like this is completely wrong. Because this is what we get when we look at a three-dimensional model of a grave bouge anomaly of mantle plumes. You get hotspot volcanic islands. You get extreme low velocity plume mixing, including fingers. This goes all the way into the deep mantle and then up into the crust. So there are literal pipelines that come up from the central core or the outer core up into the crust, forming things like Samoa, the Pitcairn Islands. Earth's magnetic field protects us from deadly... Tahiti. And let's get rid of this guy because he is the absolute worst. And that is not what we wanted to watch, so we're going to loop that up. <clears throat> so you're getting a three-dimensional picture of what the actual Earth looks like. There are these plumes and loops. It's a three-dimensional picture unlike anything that they're telling you in college, in grade school, in any geology class. This is what the subsurface of the planet looks like. And it's completely unknown and unexplained. So this whole South Atlantic anomaly has more to do with this than this. 
I'm just saying. So there's that. Now, what we do know is that the magnetic field of Earth has been reducing exponentially. In just the last 15 years, we've seen an 80% reduction. And it is crashing, so to speak. And it will hit the deck before 2040. Now, that being said, we also know that the poles have been moving. They wander around all the time because nothing is static. But sometime during the turn of the century, they started racing. The North Pole started racing across Antarctica. The South Pole started racing across the Southern Hemisphere. And now we are today in a conundrum. And so let's hear what NASA has to say with the splitting anomaly. Above South America, a weak spot in Earth's magnetic field is evolving. Called the South Atlantic Anomaly, this unique region has been expanding for more than a decade, and scientists believe that it's beginning to split into two distinct zones. Now, while this anomaly poses little risk to life here on Earth, it does allow scientists to study the complicated mechanisms behind Earth's magnetism. Around 1,800 miles below the surface, dynamic processes in Earth's liquid iron outer core are continuously generating electrical current. <coughs> this accounts for the majority of Earth's magnetic field. But unlike a typical bar magnet with one north and south pole, Earth's magnetism isn't all neat and tidy. If we take a look below the anomaly at the boundaries separating the core and the mantle, we can see the magnetic variations are much stronger. This picture provides a clear link between the anomaly we see in Earth's magnetosphere, its origins deep within Earth's interior, and how it's projected to evolve in the near future. This is important to understand because our planet's magnetic field plays a huge role in shaping the near-Earth environment. In addition to guiding compasses and animal migrations, the magnetic field acts like a shield, propelling charged particles flung from the sun that could be disruptive if they reach the surface. Many of the particles that do slip inside Earth's protective bubble become trapped in large rings of energetic particles called the Van Allen belts, which are held in place by Earth's magnetic field. The inner edge of the innermost belt is about 400 miles from the surface of the Earth at the equator which keeps particle radiation a safe distance from Earth and orbiting satellites. But because of the offset between Earth's magnetic and rotational poles, and the weakened magnetic field over the South Atlantic anomaly, some energetic particles within the belts do penetrate closer to the Earth's surface. This means that NASA and other space agencies need to account for the extra radiation when low-orbit satellites pass through the anomaly. Currently, NASA researchers are using data from satellites, along with theoretical models, to track the evolution of the South Atlantic anomaly and help prepare for future challenges to managing satellites and humans in space. Currents. This accounts for the majority of Earth's magnetic field. So let me get this straight. According to NASA, if the Earth's magnetosphere is reduced or near the South Atlantic anomaly, it is no threat to the planet, except satellites. So cosmic rays raining in down on these millions of people in South America, there's no effect, except that the only known disruptor of deroxynucleic acid or DNA in humans is cosmic rays. So someone's lying. And it's my question, why would the powers that be lie to you and say that the changing magnetosphere is no problem to humanity when it is completely a problem to humanity if it's a problem to satellites? We rely on satellites for GPS, for communication and information and technology to run businesses, to keep the world and infrastructure up. If this is a problem to satellites, how is that not a problem to humanity? Someone is lying. Someone has duped you. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance when the powers that be are making up stories to make you feel good. If you have any questions, leave them below. 
Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. Get the facts, not the fiction. The South Atlantic anomaly is splitting in two. The Earth is not a perfect, <laughs> concentric, nonsense circle, which is taught at university level. People pay for this garbage. These are the facts. This is what the subsurface of Earth looks like. We have no idea what's going on. We're pretending. Be safe. We love you. And that is a boom to knowledge. Be safe. Click on one of the boxes if you care about what's happening in the world around you. Including the splitting of the South Atlantic anomaly. <laughs> ah.